Hello Internet, it's that time for us to band together as an online community to help each other get through our relatable first world problems. This is the Internet Support Group. Check in my emails. Right, what do people want to ask Uncle Dan? That was the creepiest thing I've ever said. I'm so sorry. Okay, our first problem today comes from Annie, age 16, from Australia. Hey Dan, I've been crushing on a friend of mine for a few months, and even though I want us to remain as friends, I cannot stop thinking about him. What should I do? Here we go. Okay, Annie, if I... We oh wait, I have another email from her. Never mind, I confessed and got turned down. Maybe I should check these emails more often. Sophie, aged 14 from Kansas. Hi Dan, my mum recently found out that I ship John Locke and now I'm not allowed on the internet anymore except for YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh, I shouldn't laugh. I feel myself slowly going mad and I need help, what do I do? Well firstly, that's mortifying. But no, really, this is quite tough. I mean, how do you convince your mum that you're not an insatiable slash fiction pervert that deserves their freedom back? If she's onto you, then she's on to you, but I always recommend lying, you know, say that you were just searching for gifts and you stumbled across it, say that a friend linked it to you, or say that you just clipped on it once and you promised that you'll never do it ever again because you think it's creepy and weird, and then do it in an incognito tab next time, are you kidding me? Ashton, aged 10, from Washington, asks, Since my brother's 15th birthday, he just locks himself in his bedroom for ages every evening and won't play Xbox with me. What is he doing then? <laughs> okay, uh, Ashton. Your brother is probably having some special private internet time, and you might not understand this now, but you probably will by the time that you're 15, so until then, just, just don't knock whenever he's doing this. Nicole, aged 14, from Pennsylvania. Dan, so I have this stalker. Well, sort of. He's very socially awkward, and I don't mean like you and I. Thanks. He has no friends, and since I'm a decent human being, I try very hard to be nice to him when others aren't, but I guess he took my not being rude the wrong way, and he won't leave me alone now. He asked me out at homecoming, walks with me to my locker every day, and made me a candle. <laughs> okay, okay, right, sorry. If it was anything other than a candle, that would be adorable. It's if a candle. A candle? What do I do? This is a really tricky one, because it's really awkward, but... You're not doing anything wrong by not wanting to be friends with someone. What I do is next time he stands next to your locker to give you a homemade candle, just say, I'm sorry, I don't think we have that much in common, but you're a really nice, sweet person, thank you. And that way, you've let him down with a compliment. Good luck. Our next one comes from Jackie, aged 11 in Canada. One, so Dan, last month or so, I love looking for glow-in-the-dark nail polish and instead found a condom. Yeah, in my mum stuff, this month I hear my mum and her boyfriend having sex. I am scared for life, please help. Two, I am scared to die and I am so young I constantly don't sleep because of this. FML help. Right. Be right back. Just accept that I have a cupboard full of this for emergency situations, okay? Oh, Jackie. Firstly, don't ever look through your parents' bedside drawers. You're just not gonna find anything you wanna see there. And your mum is allowed to have sex with a boyfriend, but if you can hear it, just play music as loud as you can and rock backwards and forwards in the corner until it stops. And secondly, death is inevitable, but you're 11, so you got quite a while. Mivika, 17, from Cedar Rapids. Dear Dan, my boyfriend broke up with me after coming out of the closet. Now he's asking me for dating advice. What do? I wanna be nice. But I'm slightly salty about it. Well, okay, I think we all get why you might be salty about it, but if you can get past that and be nice, that is probably exactly what your ex needs from his friends right now. And if you can be there for him in that way, you would be awesome. So you know what? You get out there and be the best dang wing woman you can be, okay? <laughs> Our next correspondence comes from Chloe, age 16, from Nottingham. I was looking through my best friend's computer the other day and I found her nudes, but she didn't know what shall I do. Chloe, that is literally the biggest invasion of someone's privacy imaginable in this day and age. Everything is on someone's personal computer. So firstly, bad Chloe. Secondly, I'm talking to you, Chloe, your friend, and every single person watching this video, don't take nudes. Okay? You might have a best friend snooping through your computer who sends it to themselves. You might have a boyfriend who breaks up with you and sends it to everyone. Just don't. Okay? You don't need to. Not worth it. Told. Hey everyone from Irene, age 21 from Spain. Hey Dan, so to use a term that you used in one of your videos, I've recently hit free fall. 
Okay, by that, I mean I've watched four seasons of Supernatural in five days. Four seasons in five days! Is that even possible? During these five days, I happen to have two of my final exams, so you can imagine how well they went. And if that wasn't enough of a problem, I, about 30 minutes ago, hit a personal all-time low. I started eating icing sugar out of the tub with a spoon. <laughs> What am I doing with my life? How do I get out of this vortex of burying myself in season after season of TV? Irene, I think we can all relate to you. I will tell you the only thing that could ever stop me procrastinating when I wanted to study, the absolute fear of failure. The day before I wanted to do some studying, I would spend the entire evening thinking about how absolutely miserable my life would be if I failed this exam until I was panicking and then the next day, I'd find myself quite clear-headed. Fear. It works. Casey16 from London. Hey Dan, I watched your existential crisis video in school, and for the rest of the week, I felt like I never wanted to exist anymore. I watched your opinions video, and literally for the rest of the day, I got really defensive and didn't even realize until my friend pointed it out. I need help. Do you think I need to stop watching your videos? Wow, I mean, usually when I make a video about something, I feel like I'm just helping all the people that might be going through the same thing, but I guess if people haven't even heard of this problem before, I'm just making them aware of it for the first time. Now, there's absolutely nothing to this, Casey. What can I say? You're definitely wrong. And Valerie, age 29, from Newcastle. Hello again, Daniel. I had a dick in my dream. It was a good, straight, and strong tool. I think I teabagged someone with it. What does this mean? And there it is. There's always one. Okay, good time to end. Believe it or not, I actually really enjoy making these videos and I'd like to make them more often, but for that, I need more problems. So if there is a question that you would like to ask me or the rest of the internet support group in a future video, I will leave the info down in the description. And I am suddenly aware that technically I am hoping people will have problems so I can make videos about them. Yeah. Hope you'll all slash like this video, click subscribe if you haven't already to be told when I make more internet support groups or future videos and as always if you have any advice for the problems that I featured in this video leave your advice in a comment down below and we can all touch each- I mean embrace each other as a community in a comforting consensual way I'm gonna go now Bye!